I'm going to tell you a little bit about the past of Vince McMahon. Okay, Vince McMahon is in his 70s. I think he's 77 years old. He's had a history with steroid abuse his entire life. I mean, I don't think that that's a secret anymore. You look at the guy even if it's in his 70s, even now, and you can tell this guy's been on steroids. All right, so by now, all of you probably already know and heard about the allegations against Vince McMahon. He was forced to step down from the WWE due to these allegations. Well, these allegations are so sick. They're so disgusting. I'm getting new nightmares now. You guys know my past history with the nightmares of all the sick things that people do, you know. And now... I'm getting even more sick nightmares after reading those text messages. Those text messages are so sick, I'm not going to read them here, okay? I'll tell you a little bit, but I'm not going to read it. If you guys want to read it, you can go to another channel and read it, but I can't read those here. So basically, Vince McMahon had an employee, a woman, that he was having a sexual uh, relationship with. Whether it was consensual or not, we don't know. That's going to happen in court. But the text messages that are out showed sick things that were going on between them. This guy, okay, not only was he having sexual relationship with this woman, right? He had his friends at the WWE do it with them, with her, with them actually, because they were doing it all together. That's part of it. He was having threesomes, gangbangs with this woman and other people at the WWE, he did sick things where, and he was texting her in these texts, if you go back and read them, he went bathroom on her head. Remember I told you it's sick? Bathroom, he went on her head. Then he's telling her he wants three men to fill up all of her holes, and he wants to watch it. And that's as much detail as I'm going to give you guys, because when I told you it was sick, you see how sick it is. Now, after this went on for a little while, Vince had her sign an NDA, paid her off $3 million to not open her mouth about all this stuff, right? Well, they stopped paying her, and now she's opening her mouth, and this is where we are now. Now, saying all that, this, when I'm reading all this and what's going on, I'm wondering in my head, what could possibly cause somebody, because listen, we all have fetishes in life, we have certain things, right? Some people have extreme things like Vince, but most of us mild things, right? That's just part of being a human being. But when it's something so oddball like this, I'm starting to wonder, you know, what can cause somebody to want these things like this? And before I tell you what I think, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the past of Vince McMahon. Okay, Vince McMahon is in his 70s. I think he's 77 years old. He's had a history with steroid abuse his entire life. I mean, I don't think that that's a secret anymore. You look at the guy even if it's in his 70s, even now, and you can tell this guy's been on steroids. In fact, in the early 90s, he was in court for supplying his wrestlers with steroids. So we know he loves steroids. Now saying that, not everybody realizes what steroids and certain steroids, especially trend, can do to your mind and how it can alter how you think and how it can alter what you think sexually. Things that turned you on in the past are not enough anymore. And you start becoming more extreme because you're desensitized from regular sexual things. So your mind starts wondering, and starts thinking of different things, more extreme things to turn you on. Now, Derek, from More Plates, More Dates, okay, shout out to him. Actually, what I drink to give me energy is this drink. I'm not sponsored by him, but it's a great energy drink. So shout out to him. He did a video years ago about trend balone and how it can alter your brain and what it can do to you, especially when it comes to your sexual preferences.
preferences. I think you'd be surprised how fucked up the minds of guys get who are on gear, like craving more like exotic, un -main not mainstream shit as a result of his exposure to certain hormones. Because this does happen, you know? Like we've seen uh, Big Lenny as one of the most outspoken, you know, sauce fiends who just doesn't give a f about exposing his own, you know, personal crazy fetishes and shit. And he talks about his experiences with uh, um, transsexuals and whatnot all the time. And um, Tony Huge also, you know, seems to not give a f um, although it's a bit different than uh, Lenny with, you know, the context in terms of what situations they would be, you know, like willing to do it in or whatever. But anyways, regardless, there are individuals who use these kind of like exotic hormones that end up with neurolog neurological changes and adaptations to their kind of like se sexual appetites and watch more increasingly odd porn. There are a lot of androgen users that get addicted to porn. And when they get addicted to porn, not only does it desensitize them in real life to a point that they could have like a hot chick in their bed and they don't even really respond that well to it because they're so used to watching like fucked up shit on, you know, the hub or whatever. And they end up or like more fucked up sites because maybe the hub is, not, is too mainstream for the shit they watch, who knows? It gets like pretty, some of these individuals end up going so down the rabbit hole that they need to watch like increasingly fucked up porn to get their brain stimulated to even like be able to get off. And then in real life situations, like normal sex with like hot women does not appeal to them the same, you know? So this is a like an issue to be honest. Sometimes the heightened sex drive leads to such ridiculously heightened sexual appetite that they go down the porn rabbit hole to a point where they're desensitized to anything that is like quote unquote mainstream normal and they end up watching like weird fucked up shit to you know stimulate their brains again so now i'm not going to get into this video if you guys want to watch you know uh derek's full video i'll put a link in the description and in the comments watch his video if you want a scientific explanation on how this all works but the simple thing is substances that build progesterone in your body like nandrolone and especially especially trend they can cause these mind-altering effects, especially when it comes to these types of things. Now, watch his video. He gives a great explanation. I've been on TRT for over 10 years, and it's done so much for my life to make me feel younger, stronger than I recently signed with a company called Live Forever Health. I'm going to put a link in my coupon code in the bio. And this company, you know, everything's been so seamless, you know, and I tested this out. You know, I would never recommend things to people unless I'm using it, unless I tested the whole process. And the process couldn't be easier. They sent me a kit to send my blood back in the mail. Uh, they got my results. We went, I met with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner. We went over my results and then they gave me my prescription, sent me the testosterone in the mail. So it couldn't be easier. And again, this is a company I trust that I actually did the whole process with and pricing is competitive similar to everybody else who does it but this is a company that I use and a company again that I trust now I'm going to tell you guys my experience using this stuff and I'm going to say beforehand I don't think anyone should use this stuff I tried it twice in my life many years ago probably a decade ago I'll never touch this stuff again for various reasons health reasons I don't recommend anybody do this okay but I'm going to tell you from my experience, all right? Me, I'm normal, you know. I get turned on by normal things. And I don't even like talking about this stuff. But I get turned on normal things. Nothing really crazy, right? But even me, when I took the trend, all right? I started getting attracted to girls that I would never normally get attracted to. Even the big ones. And I'm sitting there looking. I'm getting turned on by the bigger ones. And then I started getting like small fetishes and things, just normal stuff, nothing crazy, right? So I understand, and it stayed with me till now. So I understand what these substances can do. And again, we know Vince has been taking this stuff his whole life. So when you see him doing all these sick things and wondering why he's doing them, you got to think that steroids, especially those ones I was speaking about, played a role and how he's thinking now. Now, do we have definitive proof that, you know, this in fact caused it? No. But a man in his 70s, okay, that looks like him, 
that obviously has the sexual desire as he has still till now. And we know, not a secret that he's been on steroids his whole life. We don't have exact proof, but it's obvious, right? That all those things occurred. Is it probable that this has altered his brain to make him think this way? I think so. What do you guys think? Comment below. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. Today we're going to be checking out this off-topic thread in the steroids subreddit called Why the F*** is Trend <laughs> Turning Me Homosexual? Uh, substantiated underscore hatred posted this on Instagram and you know like obviously a thread like this is going to resurface and get attention um here it is so yeah for this guy he's on trend it's bringing out his weird fetishes he's craving 24 7 but only and it's even making him want to get in the ass he's legitimately on tinder about to get by a crossdresser what to do should he go through with it or just jack off instead um, now, like, my, is this a troll post or is this legitimate? Like, I think you'd be surprised how fucked up the minds of guys get who are on gear. Like, first of all, I'll, I'll actually get into the science. Like, this is not a joke of a title. Like, I'm actually going to explain why this guy might be getting homosexual tendencies or just be, you know, I don't know, like craving more like exotic, un -main, not mainstream shit as a result of his exposure to certain hormones.